Hey, what's up everybody, Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how to create this text shine in effect right here. Uh, it's a pretty neat little effect that you can create all in Premiere Pro. Uh, it's just a way to, you know, sort of bring in text in a sort of clean, light way. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Let's get started. What we need to do first is just create ourselves a sequence or use a sequence that you already have um, created. Then we need to drag in our footage. Any footage works for this. Uh, change sequence settings so that it matches the footage. And then we have just, you know, a basic sequence going right here. Next thing we need to do is we need to add in our text. So just add really any text you want down here. Um, you know, we can go something different. Uh, school day. Just like that in the bottom left. And then you can put this, like I said, uh, anywhere because this is a completely customizable effect. I'm just going to put it in the bottom left because I think it looks best in the bottom left with the darker textures right here. Next, what we want to do is we need to actually create ourselves an adjustment layer. To do that, all you have to do is go down to this little new item button in the project uh, sort of panel right here. Click on it and go up to adjustment layer and then click OK. It'll usually default to your sequence settings. Click OK on that and then drag this on to your footage. The reason we need to use this adjustment layer is because we're actually going to need to put an effect on top of a layer, and this is sort of the best way to just to have something that we can put an effect onto. So now what we have is we have our footage, our text, and then our adjustment layer. So now we need to create our light. What we need to do is go into the effects down here in the bottom left. And we're going to search for something called lens flare. It is under video effects, generate, and then lens flare in the bottom left. We're going to click and drag this up to the adjustment layer up here. And you'll notice that a lens flare instantly comes in. These things are really fun because it can sort of simulate light uh, with respect to the center of the camera. So you see if I put it down here at the end of the corridor where it is actually really bright, it actually makes it look sort of realistic. Uh, it adds a really neat little style to this that makes it... Uh, sort of have some elements to it. But what we're going to be using this for is we are going to use it as a sort of uh, that light that brings in the text that goes across. So what we want to do is we want to position this at the start. To do that, go into the adjustment layer, up to effect controls, down to lens flare, and then flare center, and click on flare center. You can use these dials to change everything around and move it like that, or you can click on it and this little sort of crosshair will appear. If you click and drag the crosshair, you can drag it anywhere you want. It's Premiere Pro, so it's going to be a little bit laggy like it is right here, but it'll still work. Uh, just drag your mouse there. I mean, even if you just drag it and it lags a little, just drop it and it'll, you know, put it there. So now we have it where we want. What we're going to do is animate the flare first. So go ahead and turn on the flare center and the flare brightness. What we want to do with the brightness is that we want to actually bring this down to 0% um, to start it off. And we can actually undo flare center or not. It sort of depends on the situation. I'm going to click and drag this in so that we can see the frames a little bit better here. Uh, if you click on the circle, drag it in, you'll zoom it in. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move forward about three frames. And I'm going to bring this flare brightness up to 100, right around 100%. 106, 107. Yeah, that looks really good right there. And then what we're going to do is drop a keyframe for flare center as well. We don't need really this beginning keyframe. So that's why you don't have to turn it on at the beginning. You can turn it on right here. But all we need is this setup right here where it goes from 0 to 100 and sort of comes into its flare right like there. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move forward about 6 or 7 frames. This is really dependent on how fast you want it to go. Then we're going to take the flare and we're going to move it to the other side of the text right here. So I'm going to click on flare center grab this, and then just move it across. Position it like so. You may want to use these so that it's a direct across. Like you see that this one drifts down a little bit. So we might just want to use the X over here just to make sure that is a perfect left to right transition. Once we reach here, let's go ahead and drop a flare brightness keyframe as well by clicking this button just so that we don't do uh, a mistake in this next step, which is where we're going to move forward one, two, three, and then we're going to bring the flare back down to zero. If we don't drop this keyframe right here, it'll just start ticking down to zero as it goes across, which is a neat effect in and itself. Um, you can kind of have it start bright and then 
go down. You might wanna move this keyframe closer to this one for that effect, uh, but yeah, it's a neat effect in itself, but we don't want that. What we want it to do is disappear at this point. So now that's exactly what it does. We now have this effect where it comes in and then goes across and comes out. A very quick effect, like I said, if you wanna make it longer, it's very, very simple. Just click this and drag it over a little bit. It'll make it just a little bit longer. Next thing we need to do is we need to actually animate the text coming in. So we're gonna click on the a school day text. We're gonna go up to effect controls, down to the text, and then into this button right here, which is going to create a four polygon mask. This mask is now what is actually going to be showing uh, basically the text. We want it to do the opposite though, so we're going to click invert. It's going to be basically be like a hider mask. And this helps us because now what we can do is when the flare comes up, which is right here, we can set this at the beginning of the flare, and then let's drag this out so that it covers all of the text and then we're going to slide this with the flare so that it reveals behind it. We're going to click on the mask path right here, and then we're just going to move it forward until the flare stops moving, which is right there. Click back on the mask path. Sometimes you have to click away and then click on it, and it'll come back. And then just drag it out so that all of the text is shown like so. And you want it to make sure that you line it up right here, because if you go this far, over here or something like that, it'll actually jump. It won't be in line with the flare, but if we put the left edge with the flare both times, what it's going to do is it's just going to move with the flare. And so now we have basically the essentials of the effect right here. The light comes in and it just sort of brings in the text really fast, really clean, and it makes it look really good. And that is all you have to do to have this sort of flare in effect. Uh, it's a really simple effect. Just have to combine a couple of elements and you have this really neat transition for your text to come in. Gives it a little bit of a, a nice little kick, a little bit of a fun stylistic touch to it and makes your video look a little bit more interesting. Especially with the aesthetics of the lens flare sort of moving across really quick. It, it, the line of the flare here points your eyes towards the text, which is a lot of times a good thing to do if it's an important text um, and something that's going to set the scene up. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.